loves. So I'm sat voicing this over now in the middle of a storm, which is the biggest storm for 30 years. Now, this is a collaboration with the most wonderful Natalie Mugridge. She's my bae. Um, and if you don't know her, then who are you and where have you been? This is her YouTube. Please go and follow her. But I suspect you already are because she's amazing. Anyway, what we decided we'd do is this time round, we'd use some glitters from Nail Sugar. So I've got these beautiful pastel hearts. They're like a satin sheen on them. I was obsessed with these when um, Natalie sent me this. And there's this gardenia, which is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to try and get this in as well. And also these iridescent butterflies. I'm all about the vibe right now. All about the vibe. The colours we're going with for the set are the pastels. So to complement that, I'm using my Spring Opal Mix, which has got all those opalescent pastel shades in it. And I was like, booyah, perfect. I'm also going to be using my Pro Stiletto tips. And I'm attaching them to the Eliana hand, which is delightful. Um, so, yes, let's just get cracking. I'll, I'll apply the tips and just quickly put the thin clear base down. Done, like that, as if by magic. Now... Let's start on the index finger because this will need to set before I go back to it. So anything that needs multiple bits and bobs, kind of start it early on in the set. So I'm going to apply a thin clear layer here of really wet acrylic. Just paint it on and then I'm going to add the little butterflies. Now this is a bit fiddly, probably better to do it with tweezers, but I did it with a brush and it, and it was a bit fiddly, but it's all right. You, <clears throat> It's all good. If the acrylic starts to dry, just put a teeny tiny bit down because it's only very thin, it won't make any difference. Just work really, really thin, like wet. Wet, wet, wet. I feel it in my finger. Sorry, wet, wet, wet. <laughs> I hope you're all staying safe if you're in the UK and being hit by this horrible storm. Please stay safe. Because it's not looking very nice out there, my darling. Okay, we just look at the colours. I'm just, oh, I'm in love with these. I'm in love. I don't care if it's not Valentine's. You can wear these anytime. Look at that. Gorgeous. I'm just going to apply little beads of really wet acrylic and let it drizzle down around and that will hold these in place before I do the next stage. Just, just drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. And I'll just let that kind of sinking around. Okay, lovely jubbly. Right, let that set, move on to the next nail. This nail, I'm using that beautiful gardenia, or jardinia, I don't, what's it called? What's it called? Anyway, I'm going to actually use this underneath a design so that when you turn the fingers over, you'll see it underneath, like a peekaboo nail, except I actually forgot to show you the peekaboo at the end, but trust me, it looks beautiful. So I'm just adding a thin layer of that. It's white and iridescent. There we go. Let that set. That needs to set. On to the next nail. Full nail of nude acrylic. It is perfect pink from Glitter Planet. And I'm just going to build the structure of the nail with that. Just a full nail and working in three beads or maybe four. I can't remember. Not too fussed on the amount of beads it takes. I'm just satisfied by watching application of acrylic. I don't know why I find it so satisfying to watch. Does anyone else feel like that? They could just watch acrylic swatches or acrylic application all day long because it's just so smooth. Not when you're looking through my glasses though, because my glasses are smudged and everything looks blurry, which is really weird. In with my next bead, slightly bigger. I'm gonna let that set for a sec. Just give it a sec to sit down. You don't need to push it onto the nail. You're better off just placing it. If you do um, any courses with me, you'll know I don't give out all my secrets on here. Why would I? That's not fair on my students. So um, the online courses hold a lot of the secrets and a lot of the tips and a lot of just things you need to know. Things that you just, you don't have time to go through on a YouTube video. YouTube video is really quick, wham bam, thank you ma'am, here's a design, and it looks easier than it is. And the reality is, if you're struggling to recreate YouTube designs from your favourite creators, it's because you haven't gone through, through the process of learning that technique. So if you can find courses on it, it would make it so much easier. And that's kind of what I do. So my bead was a bit dry, and um, the last thing I wanted to do 
was leave it lumpy so I used the very base of the brush to kind of smooth it down as much as possible and then just fill in those little gaps here and there get it done beautiful We need an apex, so an apex will be made. Here we are, tucking it in and then just feather down the front of that bead. Leave the bulk in the middle. Beautiful. Hulky dulky. I can't remember if I put another bead on. I think I do. Yeah, I do. Just to fill that middle bit because it looked a bit uh, short, a bit narrow, a bit, I don't know, what's the word? It dipped a bit. I can see the wind picking up outside now. Ooh, all the schools are shut. Everything's shut. I'm shut. <laughs> right. <coughs> Sorry, I've still got the essence of COVID left in my chest and sinuses. Right, so I'm using these colours from um, Glam and Glitz. This is Boardwalk and it's one of my most favourite purples of all times. It's pearlescent. It's absolutely beautiful and you can work really, really thin with it. I do like Glam and Glitz acrylics. I just don't have, don't use them very often. I don't know why, because I, I love them. So that's that. We'll blend that back of that bead up as thin as we can get it, because we're going to do a triple ombre, okay? So we'll blend it as thin as we can get it. While that's setting, so leave it, I'm going to go and do the thumb, which is just going to be a full nude now, so I'll let you watch this. Then we go back to that uh, pinky and we're going to use Made in Sweet from Glam and Glitz. This one's slightly marbles, but nothing you can't handle. It's super, super easy to blend in. I've got other brands that marble horrifically. This is not one of them. I do, I 
I used to use glam and glitz all the time. Um, there we go. And I'm just going to add a little bit more just to pull that blend down a little bit because I can see a tiny little gap where the purple and the pink meet. So the, the trick to these kind of ombres, if you've got a good colour that you can use really thin is that your nail won't be bulky and then you because you need to encapsulate this ombre. And then if you work too thick with your ombre, then go in with your clear, it's going to be awful. We're going back to the index finger while that nail dries. And we're going to ombre the perfect pink down into the hearts. So yes, some of them will be covered, but that's fine. That's what we want. We want that graduation of them peeping through from underneath the nude. Okay, so we're just going to blend that down, blend the front edge of that bead. There we go. So some of them kind of get shadowed slightly, but it's all good. In with the cuticle bead. We do need to encapsulate this nail. So if I feel like there's not enough apex, it doesn't matter. I can go back in with clear and create more of an apex. It's not a problem. Just as long as you've got the coverage from the nude, really. So it depends how pigmented your nude is and how thick you want to work with the nude. You can just encapsulate the blend line or you can also encapsulate the uh, cuticle area as well, if you choose to. Um, my bead slightly fell off to the left. I think I must have twisted the hand slightly, so I had a little bit of filing on that, but never mind. On this nail, we're going over that beautiful glitter and we're doing a marble. Acrylic marble. I can't remember when I last did that. I'm picking up tri three beads, triple bead pickup. It's a triple threat. And I'm just going to let it do its thing and I'll just go in later on and start fiddling around with it. Acrylic marble is... Um, I do, it, it comes out completely differently to gel completely differently and you can you can do it a couple of ways you can do it how I'm doing it which is just letting it all fall together and kind of smoosh together or you can do it where you direct the beads precisely because you want the same flow so right to left or left to right or up and down or side by side I kind of wanted it to look like the fab lolly if you're in the UK you might know what I mean when all the colors kind of just keep merging coming in and out of each other but there's no harsh line there's no direction it's just all random i wanted that kind of marble so that's what i did and if i felt like it needed a bit more here and there i'd add a bit more here and there but it was really just going with the flow and whatever i felt like i think that bottom bit is my favorite bit it's been so long since i've done this isn't hasn't it feels like ages since i've done an acrylic marble ages darling that's because I get so used to using the Madame Glam gels and they're so easy, I just keep reverting back to gel. But acrylic is a skill, you need to keep it going. So I'm just going to break that up slightly with little bits here and there just to kind of make sure there's no blockiness because I didn't want any blockiness. Oh, a really tickly nose. Oh, just like I'm going to sneeze. Hello. Ooh. Again at the top, just breaking that up a little bit because the pink got kind of hidden. And then we're going to go back to that pinky again for the third part of the triple threat ombre. And we are going to add, what is it called? Cabana. Another absolutely stunning shade. And it's pearlescent as well. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. I worked a bit wet look and it went down into the lateral folds there. Not so good. Thank goodness my hand model doesn't mind. But yeah, we're just going to tuck it in. Again, we're working thin. These are pigmented powders. You don't build structure with them. You just build design. That is it. So I'm just painting with it. Just going to feather it down. Lovely. I will add some more bits to this. I've got an itchy eyeball now. What's going on today? I'm ever so uncomfortable. It's like chest, nose, eyeballs. I don't know what I'm doing. Right, I'm going to encapsulate this index finger with clear acrylic, cover the blend and just build up the structure.
I shall then do exactly the same on the marble nail. The whole point in sort of working a bit thinner on a marble is that when you encapsulate it, you, you know, any lumps and bumps you've got are going to be accentuated. So if you can use a highly pigmented powder, it helps because then you don't have to work thick and then your encapsulation process is so much easier. Back to the pinky again and I'm going to do a thin clear base and add three of the beautiful little butterflies. The theme for me was brought out from the colour of the hearts and it was my love for springtime colours so I wanted to add a spring vibe in there so there's some butterflies, there's also some 3D flowers and things like that as well as the hearts so that it's kind of like the colour scheme has come from the hearts but I'm also just going all out and adding everything that reminds me of spring. <laughs> So then, as if by magic, everything is filed and we're going to do some 3D, otherwise this video would be so long. So I've just picked up the, um, oh, what's it called? Boardwalk and Made in Sweet, and I'm just making some petals with them. It's not as easy to work with as just using a white or something like that. It's definitely a lot harder to work with and a bit more tricky but um, it turned out all right. I just wanted to tie in the colors, but they weren't as delicate and as kind of precious and delicate as I wanted. I wanted something a little bit more gentle than that, but they were uh, a little bit, little bit bulkier, but it, it was all right in the end, it looked cute. I'm just frantically trying to make some sort of shape out of it. Um, and then I just used the green, which was called Cabana and did a couple of leaves at the bottom and that tied in that part of it.
Then I'm going in with the Spring Opal Crystal Mix and just using that selection. That has been always one of the most popular mixes. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. And then I'm going to add some of them to do a little kind of corner cuff, but only a, like a half cuff. And then we're just going to do, I decided like, what goes to the flowers? Butterflies go to the flowers. What's on the other nail? Butterflies are on the other nail. What's in the spring opal mix? A, B, butterflies. So I'm going to do like a little trail, like a magical trail left by the butterfly using the opal crystals. And then a little butterfly at the top. It just all fitted in. And the thing is, I didn't plan it. It just happened. Like, I'm really happy. Really, really happy. Uh, this nail is going to have a little cuff on it with some of the opals. They just the colours just match so perfectly. I'm like, oh. And then it's time to shine. So let's bring out the top coat. I'm using Madame Glam's No White Top Coat as always, the link for which will be in the description box below. And I was gonna do this matte and I was like, no, 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 I want it glossy. I want it glossy. Um, in fact, the only matte nail is the thumb and the ring finger because they've got the crystal design on and I just wanted to focus on that. But yeah. I'm, I'm in love with this set, I really am. It's, it's, it's a bit of me, this is. It's a bit of me. Right, let's uh, top coat that beautiful marble nail as well. And normally I do a matte marble as well, but because this is acrylic and it's got more, it's got a pearlescent sheen to it, I thought, yeah, let's just do a glossy top coat on it. And I really love it. It's beautiful, kind of, it's, I think it's made it come to life. I think. It might, I might have lost it if I'd have done it matte. It might have just not come to life as much, but it's really, really come to life with the glossy top coat. There we go, beautiful. And then I will go and top coat that pinky. I can't believe I forgot to show you the underneath though, gutted. Top coat the pinky with the glossy top coat again. Those little iridescent butterflies will shine through. I know you've got that beautiful pearlescent ombre. And then I just did matte on the ring finger and thumb. So here's the finished set. I bloody love it. Those tips are life as well, they're so easy. Gorgeous. That's the thumb, which was the same as the ring finger. Just thought I'd quickly show you. And another quick shot of the hand and we are done. I really, really hope you like this video. And yeah, check out all the links in the description box and I'll see you next time. Tally bye.